Dan, nobody has a better relationship with a Nationals player and connecting on the same plateau than you and Jason Worth. He's one of your favorites, and I'm sure you're one of his favorites as well. And we know he wants to be back with the ball club again next year. Let's hope he is. But what a tremendous seven years he's had with Washington. Johnny, we don't know what the future holds for Jason Worth and this Nationals ball club, both in terms of the postseason this year and in terms of 2018 and beyond. But Jason Worth signed a seven-year contract with this Nationals team before the 2011 season, determined to turn this organization from a team that hadn't experienced much winning into a winning organization. And he has been a big factor in why the Nationals are at the point that they are now, having won four of the last six division championships and having a good chance yet again to make a deep run into October. I sat down here with Jason Worth the other day to talk about his seven years with the Nationals to this point, what it's mean to him to get to this point with the Nationals, to see the organization rise, and what it would mean to him to get a World Series championship here in D.C. I started this whole thing, you know, it was, it was coming into a new situation. You know, the team was so much different than it is now. The organization is so much different than it is now. You know, like, it was kind of like a a blank canvas in a way, you know, so, um, you know, I'm proud of, 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 you know, who we are as an organization and, and what we've become and the type of team that we are and the type of team that we've become. Uh, obviously, this, this thing ain't over and we've got a long way to go, but, um, you know, I, I feel like, you know, like Nats fans and players and the people around the organization, uh, they have something that they can be proud of and, you know, and, and I'm proud of that. You drew some criticism when you signed with this Nationals club back in before the 2011 season. That's fair to say. How do you reflect back on that time now and the reaction that your signing with the Washington Nationals provided throughout the baseball industry? I don't know. I mean, some days, it, you know, you, you look back and think about it, but I feel good about it. You know, I, I, I felt like I was doing the right thing. I, I obviously had some other suitors and some other places to go, but... You know, I made, I'm clearly made the right choice. Um, so I feel good about that. But, you know, the thing of, kind of the thing about it is, you know, we, we need to win for it to be, you know, like the best decision ever. You know, so I, I'm, uh, you know, we've had some, we've had good seasons. Obviously, we're one of the best regular season teams and, you know, since, I don't know, whatever that stat is, 2012 or, you know, whatever. You know, 2011 was was tough. It was challenging. It was it was a you know it was a in a new place. You know, the atmosphere wasn't like it is now. It's like the opposite. So you know, it, it took a lot of a lot of work, and we um, you know wasn't easy. But you know, we've we've gotten to a point now that you know I think that um, you know this organization's a, you know a, a first class organization and um, a winning organization and and uh, you know a destination for for. Uh, players and free agents and and, um, and even even fans you know I think our, our, we've built a build up a fan base while I've been here too so uh, we'll see how it ends you mentioned the word proud uh, a couple minutes ago what are you most proud of what aspect of this are you most proud of in terms of the growth of the organization or the the way that things have come around over the last seven years there's a lot of things to be proud about I mean I think like I said we're a first class organization now I think that's you know that's something to be proud about. I think it's. I feel like I had a big part of that, um, you know, helping that. But you, know, you play this game, you want you want to win, and that's the only reason why you play this game. So you know, we've won a lot of games since I've been here. I, I feel like the organization's set up to win more games as as time goes on, um, and and I feel like I had something to do with that. So um, and still though, I mean, sitting here talking about. You know, whatever, but we, we we need to win. We need, you know, I want to, you know, I came here to to give this town a parade, and I still have that opportunity, and that's, you know, that's where my sights are set. You were drafted as an 18-year-old. So you've grown a lot in this game yourself. You hear younger players now in this organization refer to the, the leadership that you bring now, having been around for as long as you have. What does the position that you now hold and the way that they look up to you and talk about wanting to win a World Series for you, what does that mean to you? Is that accurate? They're, are they, is people saying that? People are saying that. That's pretty cool. I mean, you know, I remember like when I was a kid, when I was, you know, first few years in, in baseball, I was had the opportunity to go into uh, Orioles Big League Camp and there was, you know, players there that I like idolized as a kid growing up, you know, from Cal Ripken to Brady Anderson and 
Um, you know, that, that, the list, that almost the whole team was, you know, guys that I would, you know, try to emulate. So uh, I, I get that whole thing. You know, I, you know, I got my kids 15 now, and he he's gets to come in and hang out and watch these guys. And, you know, he, you know, he watches the, the young guys. You know, that's like his, his era. But, I mean, I don't know what that means. I mean, it, if it equates to wins, I'm all for it. You know, I, I just want to win. I, I, mean, I know I'll look back at the, at my career and and, uh, and all that stuff when, when it's over and have some time. But uh, you know, right now it's, it's just focusing, just focusing on winning. Last very quick one for you. You won a World Series championship in Philadelphia. If you win one here in D.C., how would that one feel different? I consider myself a, you know, now I've considered myself a national. So, um, spent the time. You know, kind of took a leap, leap of faith coming here a little bit. Um, and then they took a leap of faith signing me, too. So I think it would just put it all together. It would make all the, all the work, hard work, and the painstaking process along the way. It would make it all worth it. So, um, you know, I'm all in. We're all in. We all, you know, we, we do this for a living. We take it serious. We want, we want to win. You know, no one, no one wants to go home early. So, um, yeah, we're gonna give it our all. We're gonna we're gonna be there. We got a chance, you know. So we got the right team. We got the right guys. You know, this is by far, I think, the best team I've played on, um, especially here. But again, you gotta, you know, you the magic has to happen. You know, you gotta you gotta make it happen. So uh, I'm hoping we can do that.